Hey everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another WWE Elite action figure review on the brand new WWE Elite Legends Series 12 full wave, or full set if you want to say. We have Junkyard Dog, Kevin Nash, Billy Gunn, and Rowdy Roddy Piper. Looking like a pretty elite set right here, no pun intended. And also, we have the Chase variant version of Junkyard Dog, so we'll take a closer look at those, see the comparisons, all those things. But I have the full wave here. You guys said you wanted to see a full review on the set, so I figured go ahead and do so. And typically, I don't find the the full sets in the in the wild, man. It's not something that I typically find, and I hate it, but that's where we are. So I, I, I found this set. I thought that was great. So with that all being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack it open. I apologize that Roddy Roddy Piper is not in his packaging. I actually got this from Mattel a couple weeks back, and a huge shout out to them for sending this figure my way. I literally cracked him out of the packaging, put his loose hand somewhere, and he literally has just been chilling here. So, you know, it's just Roddy Roddy Piper. We'll take a closer look at him, but if you guys want to see the packaging for these guys, as you guys can see right here, he Here's Billy Gunn. He's looking pretty damn good in his packaging. I like the way he looks. DX logo spray painted up there and up here as you guys can see. On the side you get an image of the talent, the legends, you know a flashback WWE logo even though if you think about it man, this logo never looked like that at any point in period and it's kind of weird because if you think about it man, this is the Word Life logo. Pretty sure this is where they debuted that logo is John Cena's Word Life. So think about it because the, the classic logo had the F. Just food for thought. Nonetheless, badass Billy Gunn looks pretty good right here. The helmet's slightly off-center, but that's okay. Speaking of off-center, here's Kevin Nash. You guys can see the headband fell into his eyes, which is kind of funny, but he's got all his loosey-goosey hands, his outsiders there. There is Kevin Nash in his packaging. He actually has the spray paint as well, NWO there and up there as well. Pretty cool stuff, and it's on the back up at the top, and is over here on this Legends logo, or Word Life logo, you know what I'm saying? And for the last two guys, we do have Junkyard Dog. We have the red version, and then we have the Chase variant in the blue. I never got the shelf-warming Elite 33 Junkyard dog and this is probably going to be the last junkyard dog we get for a minute because I just don't see where they would plug in another junkyard dog so between these and the white version and the elite 33 you know this is a great time to get it and we get these sick ass chains that I'm really excited about so what we're going to do man is crack all four of these guys out of the packaging with Rowdy Roddy Piper and run through the review all in one and you know break down everything so with that being said guys let's crack the rest of the legends of series 12 out of their packaging all right guys so here are the legend series 12 figures out of their packaging of course Roddy Piper without a box over there hate to see it but here are the figures, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far out of this set. You know, we get a bunch of repeats, I feel like, in the Legends series now. Like, a lot of repeats coming out. You know, hopefully we see those things change as we move forward through this set. I feel like it's one of the more popular sets. I feel like a lot of people enjoy them. But you guys can let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are feeling the Legends sets. You're not feeling them. Do you enjoy them? You know, all those different things, man. But I think the next couple sets are better than the last couple sets, if that makes any sense. So 13 and 14, I feel like, or, you know, through 15 will be a lot better than, say, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we'll see about that, but let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Let's start off with Roddy Piper here since he doesn't have a box. So the first thing that I noticed about Roddy Piper right here, man, is I just am not a fan of this head sculpt. I didn't think it really looked like Roddy when we first saw it. I remember people dragging it, saying it looked nothing like Roddy Piper. This is not Roddy Piper, you know, Piper, Piper, all this and that. So nonetheless, man, for his accessories, he does come with this cloth t-shirt that looks really good. It's the same as all of his other shirts or, you know, other Mattel WWE Elite figure shirts and stuff like that. The graphic is is looking kind of hazy and not as clear but it's actually much more clear in person so just for the record's sake there but you guys know how that works and then he does come with his famous kilt and the kilt looks really nice you got the like brick red and white checkerboard pattern and you can't unvelcro these and when you take them off the figure of course you will have his wrestling gear underneath which is always nice so you can remove the kilt and the shirt revealing the wrestling gear Roddy Piper that looks nothing like Roddy Piper in my opinion you guys can let me know what you think but you got blue trunks white wrist tape black knee pads solid black boots with the white laces and white outsoles with his RP on the side in white and then you have his socks coming up above there and really clean man I always liked Roddy Piper you know I've, of course I didn't grow up with him or anything like that but he, he did make some appearances throughout my childhood on WWE television but always enjoyed Piper you know watching back flashbacks and stuff like that so this is always nice to see they did give him like these new arms instead of the single jointed or they're single jointed but they're not the double jointed arms they didn't make it into this wave at all but these are like those you know elbow rotation arms that I was never a fan of. Just, does this even rotate? I don't even know what that is. I, I don't even know. It's not rotating, so I don't I don't even know what the hell the deal is, but there's Roddy Piper. He is not on ball joints, but he does have pretty good articulation there, but I don't 
like this Roddy Piper all that much. I like the accessories a lot, but I think we should like head swap this or get a different Roddy Piper. Whether it's a basic, an elite, do something with it. But I'm not a fan of this head sculpt, man. I saw what they were going for, but I don't think it works out quite right. But there's Roddy Piper. Moving on to the set, guys, we do a big Kevin Nash over here, and he's looking pretty good. I like this head sculpt a lot. I've seen some people repaint this head sculpt, and I think they did a pretty fantastic job. As far as accessories are concerned, he does come with his two sweet hands. So you do have his two sweet hands right here, which look pretty good. We've seen these before. We've seen these two sweet hands before. You do get uh, a full pair of them, so you do get the right hand and the left hand. Outside of that, you actually get some fisted hands, which we've seen a hundred times. And last but not least, it wouldn't be a figure without the mic holding hands. So we have our signature mic holding hands right there. So you get two sweet, you get fists, and you get the mic holding. He also comes with this bandana. And the bandana looks pretty damn sweet, I'd say. I like the pattern going on. I like the blue color and stuff like that. And, you know, you could just pour it on there. If you guys wanted to see what the figure looks like without the headband, here it is, or the, the bandana, I guess I should say. But there's a Kevin Nash head sculpt. I think it looks like Kevin Nash. I'm seeing the likeness there. It's not, like, perfect, but I do like it. It may be one of the better Kevin Nash head sculpts from, in my opinion. Got the solid brown hair color. I like the facial hair and all that stuff going on. As far as his gear is concerned, he does match our Scott Hall figure from the last series. He's got the NWO in the red and silver. He's got a singlet on there. Nice belt design going around. He does have his red tassels going down the side, as well as the silver on the side of the pants right there. These actually have red pegs in there, which I thought was pretty weird. I guess because they wanted it to blend in right there, but then you do get the red showing through on the other side. Black wrist tape, he does have his tattoos and stuff, and this figure actually isn't as stiff as other Big Daddies. Like, he can actually do a pretty good big boot and split and stuff, so this figure actually has really good articulation and feels good in the hand, so this may be... I don't want to, like, overstep bounds here, Brad, but this may be the best Kevin Nash we've seen. I know we have seen a few in the past, and some of those are more rare, but I actually like the way this one feels a lot better than those classic ones, so this actually, I think, is my favorite Kevin Nash they've ever done, which is really cool. So, I'm impressed with the Kevin Nash. I like that one a lot. Outside of his other accessories, though, he does have this Outsiders t-shirt. So, just like Roddy Piper, he gets the Outsiders shirt. It says, the Outsiders NWO, and then you have Hall and Nash right there on the front. And this is not the same shirt we got with Hall. We actually got an NWO shirt with Hall, which I thought was kind of weird, but, you know, you get you get cloth shirt, and you get the stuff going on there. So, three figures in this set actually come with cloth goods. So, getting into our next one would be Badass Billy Gunn, or Billy Gunn himself. And just like Kevin Nash. I actually like this head sculpt. I think this is the best Billy Gunn head sculpt we've seen so far. He's got the flap over the back right there. I like the way his head sculpt looks a lot. I wish they would implement ball hinges in, instead of ball joints in these head sculpts, even though his head sculpt can kind of look down pretty far, which is very rare for a Mattel Elite. But I like this figure a lot. Again, you get, as his accessories, you get mic holding hands, and then you get his DX suck it flat hands, you know, the Kawhi Leonard ricochet hands. And we have uh, started our DX army over here. So we get the black cloth DX shirt that we've seen multiple times in the past, which looks really, really nice. And then we have these camo pants, which are the exact same pattern as Elite 69 Tommaso Ciampa, which is really nice. So going all the way down, they go all the way pretty much to the ankles. They, they get like super close there, but they do Velcro in the back here, and you can remove the wrestling gear on the way down here. So pull this down, pull his pants down so you can kiss his ass. And there you will have a full look at his pants here. So they go all the way down. They do have nice cuffs at the bottoms. They look really nice. These are actually really, really nice pants, and it's so cool to see these army pants. Need to make an action Hank. If anybody can get that reference, I salute you, sir. Need to make an action Hank figure, but there's the DX shirt and pants. Love the camo pants, man. That's that's freaking awesome. Outside of that, we do get his DX helmet as well. This is pretty much a reuse of the Elite 23 Triple H helmet that we've seen. You got the green X on there for DX, and he does have these, like, you know, this, like, fake grass or flowers or bushes kind of going on, and it is duct tape, so you see the duct tape there. It also has all the trees and leaves all sculpted in there and my ex is actually centered so that's all good you love to see that but i like this accessory a lot it's gonna be really cool when we get china x Pac, road dog triple h all of them up next to each other which they're all coming so you can bet your bottom dollar on that but taking a look at the billy gun again love the gear they chose the white gear is very sick you get the white gear here and he does have all the lip logos or the kiss emoji logos type deals this is way more way before emojis but you get the point got the green smooches on the butt right there i don't know if it's supposed to say mr ass or not it would be really cool if they could put if they could actually put Mr. Ass on there, but you know, like I understand it. Going down, you got the white knee pads with the kiss logos, with the lips logos, you got the black knee tape underneath, a very nice leg sculpt going on. I like the torso choice for the Billy Gun. The Billy Gun formula is just really nice. It's got the Dolph Ziggler style boots going on in the all black. So this is just you know full black boots going on for the Billy Gun. Unfortunately, I don't have the Hall of Champions figure, nor do I have the Elite 27 Billy Gun. So pretty upsetting. I would love to, you know, get those at one junk really need those for real but you know 
nonetheless, here's Billy Gunn, which is very weird. How, how can they make Billy Gunn? It's like Billy Gunn's in AEW, yet he can make merch with Mattel. It's like he, I, I don't know how that works. I guess because he's, uh, he's like with DX and like he can do, he can do DX merch, but he can't do Billy Gunn only merch maybe. I don't know how that works, but the last two figures, guys, is going to be the Junkyard Dog. Now the Junkyard Dog, I want to say that I like the Elite 33 head sculpt better, but if you guys want the Chase Junkyard Dog and the regular up next to each other, you guys will notice that they're the exact same figure, except you have, you know, JY Dog on the side in white. On the back, it does say Thump, and on the other side, it says JY Dog again, and then the only difference here is the mismatched color tights and the mismatched colored boots, which have the dog logo there in red on the red pair, and then the blue logo on the blue pair with red stars, and then you do get the blue stars over here. So, I like the formula of the Junkyard Dog. I think it looks pretty damn sweet. I think the best part of his figure is the accessories, but uh, because, like, his legs can't, like, really move forward. These are, like, listen to that. That's, that makes me think the figure's gonna break in half, so I do not like that. And then this one, like, won't even kick forward. Like, it's got the Rey Mysterio treatment, so that really hurts the figure, in my opinion. Really don't like that at all. However, if we move on to his accessories, I like Junkyard Dog. I just think his figure is just buns, bro. Good lord. Or, like, I can't even move the leg. It's, like, gonna snap at any moment, and he can't even stand right. I'm about to throw this figure across the world. Well, we have an early contender of worst figure of the year, just based on movement. But both of them come with the... You get the king's crown right here, which is very, very nice. You got the purple. You got some golds and reds going on. You even got, like, your faux fur down here that's sculpted on there. I want to say we've seen this before. This is not the first time we've seen this. I want to say this is the Harley Race helmet, or it's very close to the Harley Race helmet. Not helmet. You know what I meant. Crown. You get the point, but they look really good. I'm not seeing any differences between the two crowns here. They look pretty much identical, in my opinion, so you guys can let me know what you think about that. In the packaging, he does have fists, and then he comes with mic holding hands, which are really nice. Both versions come with the same signature hands or interchangeable hands. And then they both come with dog collars, which is just so nice. Like, this is an actual chain. It's got, you know, you can plug it on his neck and unplug it right there, which is really nice. It even has, like, some silver details on the collar. And then you have this loose chain that actually has weight to it, so that's just freaking excellent, man. I guess if you wanted to, you'd have to ruin the collar, but you could just snip this off and use this as a chain in your matches or something, but this is a really nice high quality accessory man i love this this is freaking excellent but outside of that man that pretty much wraps up the full wave out of all if you guys want to see me rank this set let's go ahead and rank the set real quick before we get out of here so if i were going to rank this set from worst to best like we like to do I think I would put the regular version of Junkyard Dog at the bottom. I'd put the Chase variant version next just because I'm a, I'm a blue guy. I like blue over red, so I, I like the blue gear better. Next up, I think I would do Roddy Piper. Head sculpt's not doing it for me. Figure moves pretty well, just not a good head sculpt, but it does have nice accessories. And then I would go Kevin Nash number two, and I would go Billy Gunn number one, I think. I think this is how I would rank the set. I think that's a pretty good ranking right there. You guys can let me know what you think of the ranking down in the comment section below. Who you would rank number one through four, or five in this case, but that's gonna wrap up my Legends 12 review on the WWE Elite Legends Series 12 figure set. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Overall, I enjoyed the set. You know, not my favorite set or the most exciting, but at the end of the day, you know, it's another it's another set there. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on this set down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like the Rowdy Roddy Piper head sculpt. You cross